Hi folks, in this video I want to talk a little bit about um, things I've written about over the years um, in the early days of the, uh, the alleged autistic era of the blog. Um, it goes back years. However, one of the things I've learned over the years is cut the shit too. Um, what I mean is I was, it was heavily dialogue driven and I remember um, that might have been some re um, I remember that my traumas from the middle school program might have been the reason why I was so much um, I had so much dialogue um, you had to explain the obvious so quickly and fast and I just remember some of the words I've written about about social media was like it was very instructional in in the language um it wasn't written um it was written very explicitly as if um you were too stupid to understand what i was talking about um also i couldn't really elaborate to the extent of how really bad social networking was at the time 10 years ago so it was barely an infant at that point and more like a toddler or probably even more like a school age kid at that point um with you know it's it's been around for about 20 years now if you count friends are in my space um <laughs> um the friends are being the bastard middle child right um there's this to me in right before the pandemic which in it, in itself had its own um, problems, but, um, one of the things that I noticed with social probably before that time was how many of the users, the prime age, which, which I would put millennials at cause they were entering in their thirties, um, how they were, tr they, they have smartphones and they were using the app, but they were communicating it as if it was a website um they really didn't um into this day they, they really haven't um um used the platform to its potential um we're talking about like live streaming stories um i've heard i've heard it all i've heard it well i only post pictures of my dog with regards to data collection they don't realize the phone is monitoring everything that they're doing it's not what they're posting it's what they're surfing and querying but they don't they don't get that and they're in their 30s and millennials are supposed to be tech savvy um the other thing is oh i use facebook for my my friends and family i know their excuse where um they don't really like your your fan pages which is now meta pages now um they don't even they don't even use that so they're they're using it very primitively um they do a lot of text-based commenting they many of them don't use messenger outside of texting so they don't use the voice functionality the video functionality they don't use um they just text they write uh, they'll post pictures they'll post comments but that's it um, if you're even watching a live stream, they'll most likely comment, um, but not engage in being part of a live stream or whatever. Um, so I really kind of was shocked, very shocked that they, that, 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 that the older generation isn't even using any of Meta's platforms in the most effective manner. And, um, I think that... That's, that should say a lot about the millennials and how really bad they are when, when they claim to be uh, tech savvy when they really are not. They're, 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 really, um, they're just really um, inept when it comes to technology. And, um, and again, they, uh, just, uh, they're just using it in a very analog way. So millennials can be very nostalgic. Um, the problem is when you have like the, the few Gen Z's that use Facebook, um, they use it a lot differently. So, um, but one of the things that, um, I had, uh, one of, one of the, um, 
litmus test, one of the many litmus tests I did with, with, with Facebook as like the, um, loyalty test was I would post stories because stories would have read receipts or people that would see your post. And so I would put some friends in restrictive and some not. And so for a month I would post, you know, mild vulnerability. So what was going on in my life and saw a lot of people just looking at it. The following month, I would change around and have the other half look at it. And I realized I hate posting stories that often because it just it opens the gate to lurkers. People that don't engage on social media are most likely going to see your stories rather than um, engage in posting. And, and posts and stuff like that. Postings and posts. So they they tend to do that. And I think part of it is it's it, um the, the, the young the, the millennials are very comfortable on posting um um things and looking at things and feel this connection by just gawking. It's close to stalking if you ask me. Um, this also explains why the younger generation, I mean, excuse me, the millennial generation, because we're not the youngest, but uh, millennials have not had um, reunions. I mean, I grew up in London, Derry, New Hampshire, and no one has organized any reunions whatsoever. Um, and I think that, and, and again, that prime age of millennials from like the late 90s to the early teens, about, I would say, 14 years uh, span really, um, you know, felt that Facebook replaced everything. And Lennon Yeri was an extremely affluent, Caucasian, conservative, um, but somewhat liberal town. And they're, they're, they're progressive in the sense of social, in the social sense that there's no need to get together. Now we can talk about, is it really worth it to go to high school reunions, blah, 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 but just the lack of community and everything getting packetized and digitized. And, um, we're already seeing it. London, New Hampshire, at least in this part of New England is probably one of the first major school districts or not districts, but school communities that really abandoned, um, reunions. Um, through just because that the blue app replaced everything and um i think it's uh it should be a telltale sign and also a warning sign of what, how communities are going to regress down the road because everyone's doing it online instead and people really told me like you really couldn't socially engage online and it's so funny that an autistic has more sense than typical caucasian people so again, you can check out my site with really my poor writing on, on social networking and social media, but I think it's very, in the last, I'd say since 2017, when I kind of started using Facebook again, I, it was no different than it was 10 years before. And I was really sad. I was very let down and, um, I really did burn a lot of my bridges from London and I, and I don't, I don't regret it one bit. So again, um, till next time, thank you for watching. Bye.